as you can see, I'm at Ibrox ahead of Rangers versus Kilmarnock in the Scottish Premiership. I'm doing something today at this stadium that I've never done before. I'm in here about two and a half hours before kickoff. There's your clue. Here we go, the streets are eerily quiet around Ibrox. The listed stand, the main stand at Ibrox there behind me. And anybody who's been with me on this journey on this channel for any length of time for the last couple of years and particularly the last like three, four, five years since the channel's been around, uh, we'll know what journey it's been from like the COVID times, uh, not being able to get in grounds to really like having to beg places to get in and just to let me in for like a look at a stadium. Yeah, today feels like a really big moment. So a massive thank you for the support. Big day today, isn't it, against Killy? Yeah. Are you still confident you can win the league? Yeah, yeah. definitely. So you need to win today and then next yeah. week at Parkhead's massive, isn't it? If we want to do it, Celtic will win the league. So who's been your player of the season then? Dessers. Dessers, yeah, to be fair, he's had a lot of stick, hasn't he? But he's got the goals to show for it now. Yeah. And what's the score going to be today? What do you reckon? 3-0. Um, 3-0? No. No. 2-1 Rangers. 2-1 Rangers. Who's been your player of the season so far then? Uh, Jack Butland. Jack Butland. A lot of people are saying Butland and what's the score going to be today? 2-0 Rangers. 2-1 Rangers. So I actually have to find where I'm supposed to be entering. Um, hang on. Right, that's okay. Okay, um, amazing. Perfect. Oh, straight up these stairs as well. Wow. You get a lot of space here, don't you, in the press? Yeah, that's changed over the years. Oh, amazing. Great, thank you. What have you? And here is my seat for the day. We already have our Ibrox coffee. We've got a programme with your man, Diamande on the front. And here we go, look, we've got the bag with the laptop in. We're going to be editing at Ibrox today. Look at this. There's Dujon Sterling and uh, the Sky team, obviously, Luke Shanley down there, Kenny Miller interviewing him. But yeah, let's just show you the media seating here at Ibrox. Look at the space you've got here. I absolutely love all the access that I get at all of the clubs up and down Scotland, but you don't always get this amount of space. And look at this. Oh my God, this is something I didn't quite pick up on until now. The signature trademark to Archibald Leach's stadiums was the lattice work that you see right here. And usually when I've been to Ibrox, you'll sit in places and you can see the lattice work in this main stand, but you can't always get to it. There's some below, I'm sure, in like the enclosure sections, which I've sat in before, but you can't, from what I remember, I don't think I've ever been this up close and personal to it before. This is gonna sound so nerdy, but I think the only time I've ever touched an Archibald Leach lattice work like this was at Sunderland, where at their new stadium, they've got part of the old one right outside. And it's like hidden in a bush, annoyingly, but I did touch it. That is probably the saddest thing I've ever said on this channel, but there we go. on the menu here? It's a uh, hurry break chicken. Uh, potatoes. Nice, rabbit. okay. Very exotic, mate. Yeah. As I sat and tucked into my peri peri chicken and patatas bravas for breakfast, I got talking to a few people in the press room, and yeah, I was just really impressed by the facilities there at Rangers. Obviously, never been in there before. Yeah, I love to see football clubs from this perspective. Having now worked in the Scottish football industry for the past few years, it's really interesting to see how all the different stadiums work and all the behind the scenes stuff. And a huge thank you to Rangers Football Club for having me there in more official capacity than I'm used to today. Please do check out their YouTube channel. I'll link it in the description box below as is the case when i come and cover clubs officially i always like to promote the youtube channel so look how close they are as well to 200k myself and both rangers channels are both closing in on 200k they're a little bit closer than i am so make sure you go down to the description box click on their channel subscribe now if you aren't already and help them get up to 200,000 subs
got a great view of the Union Bears from here, but just look how tight the league table is. Um, if Rangers win today, it'll be three points, obviously, and this title race could go right down to the wire. Celtic won yesterday at home to Hearts, and next week it's the Old Firm Derby. And if Rangers win today and then win next week, then they're both level on points. But obviously they've not beaten Celtic this season, so chances are that might not happen next week, obviously. But look at Kilmarnock. I've not really mentioned them so far today. They've been amazing this season under McInnes, and they've secured a European spot. Whether they come fourth or not, it's still a little bit up in the air. A very early VAR check here. are happy in the corner. As you can see from that little corner over there, Kilmarnock have gone ahead. They've had an incredible season. And like a big field trying to get the Rangers players up. Wow, the Killy fans are loving it over there. Unbelievable. Two seasons ago they won the championship. Last season they consolidated again in the Prem. But Derek McInnes has got them playing European football for next season. Oh, another VAR check here. Oh, the Killy celebrations could have been a little bit premature. And the goal has been given. Rangers nil, come on at one. Right, well, that'll be the reason that they didn't announce who the goal scorer was here. Tavernier own goal. 20 minutes in, we have another VAR check here for a possible handball for Rangers. But Killy have got a free kick for an offside, so I think it was an offside before, but then there was a handball. I... Honestly, who knows these days of VAR. Joe Wright as well. Denial of a goal scoring opportunity. You're gonna have to watch that one back. It's obviously James Tavern here. Keeper saved it. William Dennis in goal for Killy. Has made the save and Kilmarnock are making a change here. Robbie Dees is coming on and poor Danny Armstrong is gonna be the man who has uh, gonna have to make way. Despite Killy being down to 10 men, Rangers really haven't created much since that red card. McGuinness, we know how well he sets up his sides, and now they're down to 10 men, I feel like they're happy to sit behind the ball and make it tough for Rangers. Maybe that's part of the reason why they haven't been able to create any chances, but still, at home, in a title race, against 10 men, you expect them to create something. Eight minutes, Eight minutes additional time in this half. for Balogun. 
and no one expected Davies to come and be the match winner potentially. So yeah, still over well, around half an hour to go here. Just looking at the goal as well, great strike from outside the box, another substitute actually, he just come on for Campwell, um, so two subs, Lawrence and Davies with the two goals that have put Rangers ahead here, and 3-1 now, with just under 20 minutes to go, and the title race should continue for another week or two yet. Bit of a collector's item for you there. Big win today, wasn't it? That's kept the title race alive. How did you see the game? Well, I, I thought we were good at the start, but I thought, they, thought the ball before half time came yeah. in here. And it's all on next week now, isn't it? Aye. The old firm derby. Aye. Hopefully, we can get that one. You have the situation that the first ball in your box it's a goal in a really unlucky way also. So then you need to react as a team and that the team did. That's also what we are working on already a long time and they did already several times. This to come back out of a difficult situation. I think we showed good aggression, good confidence. I thought we looked like a team now and Part of the game that we're, um, we're showing all season, good personality, get ourselves in front against the odds, and um, going one nil up. You know, when you come to players like Ibrox, it's important that you have that um, confidence and get scoring the first goal is, is, is magic for that. Yeah, what an experience to say I've now ticked off the press box at Ibrox, which is up there behind me. Yeah, look, when you are down here, you can't get to the old lattice work up there. I did know that you couldn't really touch it, but I did earlier on up in the press box, obviously. A huge thank you again to Rangers for the access today as and when I come to games like this and cover um, different football teams in the official capacity, then I always do promote the YouTube channel. So make sure you do go and subscribe to the Rangers YouTube channel. They're a couple of thousand away from 200K. So go and make sure uh, you help them get there. But a really interesting game, 4-1 to Rangers. It didn't seem like a 4-1 game, uh, particularly in the first 30 minutes. Killy did really well and credit to them, um, not just for today, but this season. 4-1 is probably a bit harsh on them but uh, the early red card obviously did affect the game. Um, but yeah, I love this. I love that Ibrox is so empty now and that I've been able to edit here whilst the crowd dies down outside. Now I can nip home, finish the vlog and hopefully get it up to, for tonight. So yeah, please do remember to hit that like button if you've enjoyed today. Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Rangers as well, and I'll see you again soon.